On the topic, please, not away from the topic. Too much. You know, Islam, the true religion of God. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I want to ask a question on behalf of non muslim and Muslims. Okay. Uh, it is said that Muhammad وسلم, was the last prophet, and other prophets came as long as uh, with him to guide us and show us the right way. So, and the Quran was completed on the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, on the time of his period. On that time, so I ask, why is it necessary, and where is where in Quran it is mentioned that Jesus will return, which is the major signs of Judgment Day, and why is it a new prophet or Jesus came, uh, came will come after Muhammad وسلم, completed the Quran and completed his mm -hmm. prophetism? He was the last prophet. Why is it? Why is Jesus coming again? Okay, that's well. Wow. Okay. First of all, yes it is true, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the first prophet. Where does it say in the Quran that Jesus will return? It, huh? Did I? MashaAllah, good, you're listening. Alhamdulillah. Okay, Re correction, Jazakallah khair brothers. That Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last prophet. That is true. And there is no more religion, there is no new religion, there is no new book going to be revealed after the Qur'an. This is what the Prophet ﷺ said. As for the return of Jesus, it is not mentioned directly in the Qur'an, however it is hinted at. It is hinted at in the Qur'an, however, Muslims do not consider the Qur'an to be the only source of information about our religion. This is very important to understand. There is not only the Qur'an, but as the Prophet ﷺ said, I have been given the Qur'an and something like it along with it. So, knowledge was also given to the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ other than what is contained in the Qur'an. And that knowledge has been preserved in those sayings of the Prophet which have been rigorously authenticated. This is a big subject, we don't have time to go into it now. So most of the information that we have about the return of Jesus is based upon the information in the rigorously authenticated hadith, which the details of which, insha'Allah, Dr. Do you know he's coming and we're going to spoil yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Dr. Abu Amina, I thought you didn't know yet, you know. So, Dr. Abu Amina Bilal Phillips will be covering on Monday on his talk, The Signs of the Last Day of Dajjal. So, he will talk about definitely, he will talk about Isa in that talk. However, why? First of all, I want to mention Isa alayhi salam is not coming as a prophet, Jesus is not coming again as a prophet. He is coming as a follower of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is why when he comes and he descends with his hands on the, the, the shoulders of the angels in the white minaret in Damascus and then he travels to Al-Quds, he will pray behind the leader of the Muslims. He will pray behind the leader of the Muslims. He is coming as a follower of the Sharia that is given to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And even when he breaks the cross and kills the, the swine and abolishes the jizya, okay, which it's not, you know, the, the, the jizya of course is part of the sharia, but, he, but the Prophet said he will abolish it. So the fact that Isa will come and abolish it, it's part of our deen. So he does not come as a Prophet. He comes in the capacity of a follower of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now why? Why? Why does Jesus have to come back again anyway? The reason for this is quite important from the point of view of Jewish and Christian theology. Especially from the point of view, from the point of, view of Judaism. Very briefly, no Jew could accept Jesus as the Messiah. One of the main reasons is because 
If Christians claim that Jesus was killed and crucified, that is sufficient proof that Jesus, from the Jewish point of view, can't be the Messiah. Because the Jews know from their books what their books prophesy, what God prophesied to them is that the Messiah would come and he would establish the kingdom of God on earth. That means that he would establish the Sharia, the law of God and the worship of the one God on the face of the whole earth. And that's what the Messiah would do. Right? So God sent Jesus. But however, the people, many of them were treacherous to Jesus. Okay, so they did not fulfill their destiny. That is why Allah raised Jesus up. He would not let him be killed. So this, the point here is Jesus was not killed. And he was not crucified because he is the Messiah. And those things that God said would happen, that he would rule, the Messiah would rule the earth. And he would rule the earth and the kingdom of God will happen because Jesus will return. And as we know as Muslims, he will rule on the earth as a just ruler for 40 years. And there will be no other religion except the religion of the worship of the one God, which is the religion of Islam. So that is why Jesus needs to return to fulfill those prophecies that were there, that were given to the Jews. And God, does never, God never breaks his promise. That is why, my brothers and sisters, that's going to happen. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah khair, Abraham.